Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, I got another call. I'll call you back. Yeah, yeah they have a truth for you in Mark's house. Truth for you in what? Mark. Who, who's Mark? Look, I really don't have time for this. I, I'll call you back later. <laughs> Who is that? Huh? It was these Germans asking for a guy named Mark. The German firm? It's me. Well, anywho, we need to work out a way to spend this money we earned. Money? Yes. What money? The money from the funding. Oh yeah, you mean the money we used to hire those dancers for Jeff's bachelor party. <laughs> No, you idiot! Well, I suppose, yes. Well, in any case, it's the money we got from those subsidies. Subsidies? Yes, subsidies! A.K.A. the money we got from the government to expand our company! I'm like, oh wait, that? Yeah, I spent it. <sighs> Jesus Christ. And what, dare I ask, did you spend it on? Some American company. Some American company? You have any idea what the economic climate is like over there? Yeah, I heard it's quite nice actually. Sunny and warm, eight months out of the year. <sighs> the thought of how you got this job both amazes and horrifies me. The thought of crossed my mind too. Inflation is an all-time high, which means the general price of everything is rising. As you can see on this Phillips curve, America has been deficit spending to lower the unemployment rate, which in turn increases inflation. They were at point A, and then they moved up here to point B. What exactly is this American company? Some computer company. We have to get out of here. Oh, Shirley Lawrence, how are you today? Hey boss, I'm well yourself. What are you doing? Yeah, we'd love to stay and chat, but we have a lunch meeting at 3, so... Oh, wonderful. May I come with you guys? I'd love to meet them. No! I mean, <laughs> there's no more room. You see, we only had a reservation for 3. Oh, of course. Well, good luck, guys. Hope everything goes, uh, well... So what did you do with this money? I thought we were going to run it by the board first before we spent it. Well, I just happened to stumble upon this opportunity. And like you stumbled over your ex in that pub? Right, except she was a drain on my checking account who had a high depreciation rate. Unlike this deal I found. Enlighten me. So I met this man, yeah? Wait, what's he was down at the pub. Like, and I was like, talking to uh, to the barkeep, Jeff, about our very situation right here. I'm gonna stop you right there. You invested 500,000 pounds on a man you met in a bar? Look, I know what you're thinking, but it's not how it sounds. Why am I getting the feeling you get when you're about to lose 500,000 pounds and your job? I can tell you why. It's because you have very little faith in Exactly. This time it's different, trust me. We're not gonna have one of those mishaps like we did in Singapore again. This time, our net investment rate will go up, since our capital stock investment will be higher than our depreciation rate. Yes, that was the experience I could have lived without. But if you can pull this deal off, our business investment spending will shift short-run aggregate demand and shift long-run aggregate supply and increase economic growth. In this production possibilities curve, the first curve is the output level we are currently producing at. After we increase our capital goods and better our technology, our curve will shift out to point X, and we will be producing more in the future than we can now. Right. Anyway, I was talking to the barkeep, right, about our conversation right now, and it caught the ear of this girl who's just sitting a few seats down. Turns out, she was an American yeah, executive. We're looking for an investment. We're looking for funding, but... The company up and dropped us. They decided to go in a different direction. She throws this proposition out. So, I'm willing to sell you our computers for the next five years at a fixed interest rate with only $250,000 of in the investment. The real interest rate will charge you with the nominal interest rate minus And just like that, yeah. I talked to Jeff down in accounting, and he did all the calculations. He says we'd make a 25% profit. I can only imagine the sort of headway we would make if you were as enthusiastic in the office as you were in the- Has anyone brought you the financial reports? Financial reports? No, why? No reason. Oh, that's interesting. Well, it's not that interesting. Well, it's not that interesting. Well, it's not that interesting. Oh yeah, I've completely forgotten. See, I told you not to worry. Shh. Uh, we happen to find this up-and-coming American business. Hmm. Yes? 
It's a computer company. A contact of mine brought it up to my attention. Hey. They offered us a fixed interest rate for five years with computers. Even though America is experiencing high demand pull inflation, which is too many dollars chasing too few goods, it won't affect the deal because we have a fixed interest rate. Oh, okay, I see. So as you can see on the supply and demand graph, because of the investment that we spent on those computers, our supply went up, which decreases our price level, but increases the quantity we are able to produce, and we can now hire more employees and be more productive. So, what do you think? Lovely place.